Hello and welcome back to Space Engineers. My name is Raben Schild and the monowheel still does something in my brain. I don't know why, but I'm still working with this. The other one I ripped down basically and I built this one. And you can see that I have turned on the center of mass because that makes sense for this. And I took a book out of the page of the master and I'm working uh, not with so Splitzy showed off his mono wheel at one point it it was a coincidence he built one too that uh, don't know <laughs> that's that's something uh, yeah that I don't know he must have had I would say and he balanced it by really balancing it, balancing it. So uh, you can see that it largely stands on its own. So um, you can see if I start to bring the center of mass to where they basically stand or are, yeah, kind of balanced out then it starts to even stand on its own feet for longer times so the main thing that we have to do is to balance this this thing weight wise and i'm trying to do that so the first thing i should do is maybe find a way i can stand this up without um, yeah without making too much problems so I can still work on it okay um, for now I just balanced it roughly but now we need to go back to it and work a bit more on it so what I want to do is have the seat be moved a bit more to the side and then move the reactor over um, a bit because the reactor seems to be very heavy and so that's something that we maybe should balance out so seat goes over here because the you can see that that the the center of mass for the wheel is roughly here and it is nicer to bring the seat over to that point so that we can have a bit better balance um, I asked myself if it would be feasible to uh, maybe work on it so much that we can maybe get it to be uh, airtight or something like that I'm not sure if that's possible but I think that would be a great thing if we could get it airtight and so have a don't know a small recon rover that we can use for whatever so I will bring in the gyroscopes a bit too move them to here uh, have some of the new ones overridden so this is already overridden this is not strength is up and this one can go then which one is it this one okay this one can go and this one can go too the before with all the blocks on there um, the whole thing was very clunky kind of and that's not the way it should be. I added another wheel suspension over here so that it balances out a lot better. Problem with this now is that I'm not sure if I can balance it again. If I can bring in the wheel suspension a bit more. That would be something I would be interested in because now I'm... Uh, I'm, I'm struggling with uh, what to say um, with the fact that 
all the stuff is uh, even numbers right now. Oh, it should be possible. Okay, then we bring this over here and then we can move it in a bit. You do this. This. This, no, I don't need this. This can go now. Oh, I, oh, I have other things to show too. Um, let me... Let me finish this and then we... Uh, I show off other things. Um, Captain Cosmit there is one of the members of the Tiamat community. Uh, a community I'm related to, let's, let's say it that way. Um, and Cosmit did some, some work. So the Tiamat community has a set of servers. Oh, okay, it still doesn't work. But why? Um, now I would have to move it over. So why is it still tilting back? Okay, we need some more weight on the front. The gyros and... The gyros must be the thing that pulls at the moment. So, could we add some more gyros right now? And I might overdo it with the gyros, but I think having a few more gyros should be viable. The Also, the reactor pulls back. Also not good. Oh yeah, that is a lot. A lot of gyro power. Uh, now it kind of looks looks unbalanced because it. Ooh, it's twitchy. That's not necessarily bad. <laughs> but now I have the problem that now everything seems to be unbalanced. So I should move. No, I shouldn't. Should move it in even more. I like this. This is this is this is a dumb project. This is a really really dumb project. But I kind of like doing this. It's it's weirdly <laughs> it's weirdly interesting to me to get this done. So, I, I would like to have it in a way where it stands on its own, or on its own at one point, and where I, yeah, maybe can leave it just standing, so that it, it don't know, it balances on its own, and I don't have to, don't know, bolt it down somewhere. That would be. The greatest thing we should think or we should see if putting if putting uh, if putting how much do I have to bring that in if putting uh, a cockpit on here is possible and then maybe a bit more power and maybe a uh, an O2 gen, so that we can... Oh. oh no, now I have... Oh no! Ah, oh, damaging the area, that's something I really don't want to do. So I need to bring up the rotor... Uh, not the rotor strength. The wheel strength. And... Bring it up higher. No steering, please. Strength. 
bring it up. And I still can bunny hop it. <laughs> that is just the best. Um, I think I will move it. Uh, I will move out. Uh, I need to move it back. It is still not very much centered. That's problematic. So I would like to definitely try to center the whole thing over it. So if I put the cockpit on there, I will move the reactor again. Oh. I need to relearn. <laughs> I played other games in the <laughs> in the meantime. Played a lot of Red Dead Redemption 2 because I got that gifted. And so I had to play it for a long time. And now I'm trying to break with the horse break. Okay. Uh, where it is, it is shorter here, I think. So we add to this side. Just a bit. But it doesn't, it takes away from the balance, I'm pretty sure. Or. Yes, so we need to bring something on the other side to balance it out again. One thing Splitsy did was, yeah, work around the whole thing and then basically encase it, kind of. Not encasing is the, the wrong word. Um, made, made a frame so that the wheel sits in the middle and then had on both sides similar things. Cockpit in the middle, as far as I know. And then this worked out. Okay. So let us bring the the reactor over here. The reactor goes over here. Small one. Take out the uranium. And then we move the reactor away. Again, this goes away. And we maybe put a cockpit over there. So let us take a look. I want to have, if I want to have something, then the this cockpit. What I could do is bring it down a bit because at the moment I feel that the whole thing is a bit too high. So if I can have the bottom of the cockpit as the main, I don't know, as, as the frame in the middle here, remove these move this and then put something up here to put the cockpit against it okay I need to put something here I later need to can remove that hopefully and then Maybe <clears throat> able to. The question is how I will put the the gyros on the other side too. I don't know why the on side is so crazy not crazy heavy but you can see no now at the moment it is fairly balanced so if i can keep this going 
So I will put... Where do I need to... So where's... It is there. Needs to stand up so that I can see it. Mm, not good. But maybe if we bring this out, then try to override number six. We should be good, or we are good. Okay, how bad is it? It's not too bad. This is nice. This feels good. So there's some... There's some blocks that I need to grind away. These blocks could... Could be the reason why it stands up. And then I need to remove... Oh, okay, it's back heavy. We need to put something on the front. But that's doable. First, I need to put on the O2 gen. And maybe some more gyros. It is... Again, it is a bit back heavy. Right now. Can I remove that without completely ruining it? I can. Okay, O2 gen. Ah, it's, uh, I know, I know, this, this might be... This might be very boring to some of you, but I personally, I kind of like it to, to finagle this out. Uh, very heavy. The thing is, it will be back heavy again because I need to put ice in there. And now it, now it's, see, now it starts to slow down with, uh, with, uh, the steering. I need more, yeah, I need more gyros to steer the whole thing. Um, with with steering, we are not able to to do anything here. I would say, weirdly, this thing is easier easier used in with the keyboard. I'm I'm using the the arrow keys to just steer it. Uh, the mouse is just a pain, a pain to use it. How much? Oh no. How much? One year. We could also try. What we could also try would be a leveling. A leveling script or something like that. Is there something? I have something like that on the. On the heli carrier or the. The flying base on the alien planet. The problem is, I don't know if the auto level still works. I would like to test that. So if I can put in another gyro, we could test that. Oh yeah, it it once you speed up, it oh yeah, it starts to really really uh go to the I don't know. Okay, it swerves so if you bring it into balance, what does it start to do? The moment it works really well. At the moment it works really well. Good, let me get some more gyros on here. And we can think about the auto level thing. Um, I think I will be back with a bit more progress and do some more work here. 
Yeah, I completely forgot that I wanted to do this. <laughs> Let me introduce to you the Gilgamesh laser cannon or something like that. Let me let me take a look at what this is. What this is. So, um Captain Cosmit again is is one of the models that that also works with Tiamat. He does a lot of uh Weapon stuff and general stuff. I think he has to do with LWTS. That's a crazy mod pack with a lot, a lot of, a lot of blocks. And so we asked him if, or Tiamat asked him to make some nice weapons. Uh, we asked him if we can use that too for the server, and we happily can use the Gilgamesh Gilgamesh Devastator laser. That's yeah, a laser gun with the uh, usual things, so it it accumulates power, builds up charges, and then it then it fires. Uh, the range is one thousand one hundred something meters, one hundred fifty, and if you aim yourself, control it, you can even reach over one thousand two hundred meters. The beam damage is just crazy. And the beam explosion radius that's set here is also crazy. Uh, it draws power like, like crazy when it when it loads, but it's nice. There's also the flag cannon. I don't know if I showed that off. That was something uh, that I already had in the game, but um, Cosmic now made a made a pack basically. We asked him for for my server. If he could make a pack so that if he puts out more weapons that they automatically get added and we don't have to I don't have to constantly download the map uh, rework it and do all that stuff um, that's the Tiamat flag cannon it it has weird fire modes and does uh, this crazy damage we tested that on stream and it is uh, it is uh, it is crazy <laughs> uh it needs this needs ammo i don't know how it's called right now it must have a name Gilgamesh devastator and then we have the uh, I need to search for this. Where is it? What's it called? The dang thing. Oh, uh, darn. Come on. What are you called? You're the A56 flag cannon. Um, this is also high range. Uh, has... Does... Very fast repeating shots, but then it needs to reload and uh, with that it it kind of um, It kind of is balanced. I think Cosmet is trying to be really really balanced it, It's the same with this this hits hard, but then needs to reload and all that stuff cool thing cool thing and This one also very very nice will be on the new server and um he also put out because Bitfighter asked if it would po would be possible to get some uh, to get some crazier armor blocks. He also did these alloy armor blocks for us, and I asked if it would be possible to do the whole thing without adding uh, crazy ores. I think this is also from L. L I think they all call that LVTS, but it's LWTS. I, I don't know. And it's um, we we have two new armors in here: the metal armor and the alloy armor block that use a new plate. You can see that there's a new alloy plate, and this uses a metal plate, but they are made out of normal materials. And we can add this now to the server. Uh, because Cosmet was so great to basically give that to us, make that ready for us. I'm very happy and thank you, Cosmet. Very, very nice. If you 
want links to that, then let me know. Um, I'm not sure if it's interesting to you because, again, this is just... The, the cannons have their own their own mod packs and they they are at the moment relatively high up in the in the in the most downloaded or something like that or, or the the most beloved mods and the 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 armor is just that's just basically for us i'm not sure let me know if you if you want the links to that L the logos still here i still love it uh very happy about this i need to I need to go and get rid of some of the stuff. I'm, uh, it gets crazy full here. Okay, I will do more work and we'll be back in a bit. I'm cheating heavily right now, I have the feeling. But this works fine. The auto level script that I talked about that I have for a while now and I thought, ah, maybe it's outdated. Got an update. <laughs> Don't know. Not even two weeks ago. And it works. It works absolutely fine. You can see that. So it's a bit clunky to drive. Uh, let's say it that way. But um, it works. It it kind of shifts sometimes. You can see that it doesn't... It doesn't... Uh, when it goes into a, a curve, it doesn't run it smoothly. It kind of makes these shifts shifting things there but it works uh it flipped just one times and otherwise it works pretty well goes automatically back into level even if i even if i flip it 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 kind of uh starts to lift itself back up <laughs> and now it's dense again um, yeah, braking is a bit crazy. It seems to be very, um, seems to be very front heavy right now. Uh, I don't know why nothing breaks. I hope I didn't have any, no, I don't have any invulnerabilities on. So the thing seems to be very stable. Um, I have to take a look if I... Don't know, bring the friction down or if I just reduce the speed that it can can use. I'm I'm not sure. Um again, sorry for not coming as far as I hoped I would. See, sometimes it borks out and I don't really know why. Why it then starts to suddenly go ham. Um I'm pretty sure that you can just overload the programmable block. See, it it then starts to, don't know, not do what it is supposed to do. So, maybe if we go too hard on it, then it... It could be just too much. Maybe reduce the power, not make it so flippy, put a bit more weight on it, more gyroscopes, something like that. I think that that could help. This thing basically, by the way, overtakes the gyroscopes and sets its own its own levels here. Um, I think I still have two to steer. That could be a bit much. But on the other hand, if I put more weight on it, then it could go even crazier. Or maybe it goes a bit less crazy then? I'm I'm not sure. But you can see that I'm trying to heavily balance that thing out. Um, although the lever, leveler now should make it possible to just have it not so leveled anymore. We will have to see how much gyros I still have to put on there. But this works for now. Um, I will work on this uh, a bit more over the next days. The, the thing is that uh, the next days 
might be a bit stressful. We will have to see. I'm recording this on Tuesday. Sorry for not having anything yesterday. I'm again there, there was there was no time. And um yeah, on Thursday we will stream again. And we will go hopefully into season two of my server that will be renamed and I don't have a name yet. We will have to see. Uh, but it will be interesting. Some of the mods we have here will also be on the server. Some won't. And so I'm... Um, we will see how, how that goes. By the way, I can turn this off now for now so that I can get around. Let me bring this closer so that it doesn't uh, if hopefully it doesn't get damaged and maybe I can just leave it here we will test that if it explodes violently then I hope that it doesn't damage the base too much the base needs more work I have another thing that I want to uh, put up I have the wind turbine the, the big one and that should be put in somewhere here I would say um the I worked just a little bit on the big truck uh did some more replacing but we will go back to that thing too but now with the gyros with the gyro uh without gyro the mono wheel we might have some I don't know something that we can take with us and have a relatively quick quick and relatively small way to get back to base something like that we will see good people i would say that is all for today hope you liked the episode if you did please leave a like on the video and i hope to see you in the next one see ya guys